Hey, how you doing? Good. In progress. Coach, similar script, I know, but when you look at the second half of this game, a tough opponent, what's your approaching it? Um, it's really, I, I talked to the team about it um, yesterday, and uh, it's really not necessarily our second halves. Um, it's just the shift in the game. We start the game with a, with a punch, and we force teams to make an adjustment, and when they do, uh, as I mentioned to the team, we have to make an adjustment once they do. And so we just have to get better in that area. Paul George is considered a dark horse MVP candidate by many, and perhaps by some not so much of a dark horse. What does he contribute to this team that you see that you've prepared your team to face? Everything. <laughs> <laughs> it's nothing that he he can't do on the floor. Uh, and so it's going to be important for our guys to make everything tough on him. And even when it's tough, he, we, we have to have an awareness that he can make, take, and make, take, uh, take and make tough shots. It's what he does, uh, great size and strength. He can get to the basket. He can find his teammates. He shoots the three ball at a high level. And he can, we have to do a really good job of, of making everything tough on him tonight. Able to get to the free throw line with regularity. The ball game you want to play going downhill. However, you've also drawn a lot of charges offensively. Yeah. And this is a team in the Clippers that draws a lot of charges defensively. What's the fine line between being trying not to? Like you said, you have to get in the paint with an awareness that this is one of the things they do well is they take charges. So jump stop, find your team. Most teams that take a ton of charges, they're trying to protect the paint. Uh, we want to continue to go downhill and get in the paint. Uh, Pretty great, but we, we do have to be better. I think last game we had five turnovers uh, all from charge. We clean that up, but still be aggressive. Along those lines, when you, this is a Clipper team that really isn't much of a paint score, more of a jump shot team. There. Well, our shift, low defense, and, and spraying out the shooters. Last year they were one of the top three point shoot teams. This year, they shoot a ton of them, and they shoot a pretty high clip. For us to get out, contest shots, rebound them, extra possessions. Um, once again, just make it tough. Just just you know, like we're at as a team defensively right now. I think we're okay. I, I just think there's always room for improvement. And until we become one of the teams, that's our, our goal is to continue to work at uh, limiting paint touches, and contesting a ton of shots. And do you know, uh, Devante, do you know if he'll be able to play? Devante is out tonight. Uh, okay. Uh, foot start bothering him. Uh, it's just it's just sore, so he he won't play tonight. One of the things that looks like has gotten better in the recent weeks is the the turnovers aren't leading to points as, as much of an emphasis on limiting the lives and, and stopping the the fast break opportunities. We talk about it, but we don't want to make it bigger than what it is. Be a team teams the ball and we have to play together. We're gonna to have some turnovers. Um, but you know, eighteen is too much. Some, but we want our guys to each other, getting in the paint, drive kick, drive kick. Willie or this Paul George has had this year. Uh, you really saw that first glimpse when he had to go without Kawhi in the conference finals last year. Are you seeing anything in the way he's played that's over? Played, was forced to play in the conference finals when he was really high? I think he's taken on the leadership role of uh, carrying the team as, as far as scoring. Amongst other, he's just a great player. And when guys are asked to step up, they can do it. When Kawhi, when he was on the floor with him, he knows that at moments, you know, he can step up and then at moments be in the shadows. I think it's what great players do in this league. And, um, Hey, Willie, uh, Eric Bledsoe is coming back here. You played here last year, but not even a decade ago, you played with him, <laughs> his teammates with him. Just wanted to get from you, like, what your perspective was as a young player and as you. Yeah, absolutely. I'm I'm proud of Eric. 
and um, the career that he's carved out for himself. He makes an impact um, defensively off him at a, at a really young age in, in L.A. and seeing his maturity and his growth as a player out of him. Um, we still joke around when we see each other a uh, little but anything, I'm always happy to see guys have a long NBA career. Coach over here, um, you come from a unique situation the last couple of years in terms of culture, Phoenix last year, obviously going What are your points of emphasis when you take and try to set the culture that you are used to these last years? Especially when you factor in, you had Steph with Gold Chris last year, of course, with Phoenix. How do you that with kind of like a young team trying to get the way you have been accustomed to the last couple of years? Yeah, great question. I think first, first some organizational value. The things that you believe in, the organization believes in, and hold myself accountable, but also our, our players. Um, being together on a lot of things that we do, being a family type atmosphere and, and, and really showing that and proving it. And then, you know, from but it's a part of who I am, Joey, our job, all of us. And if we run and come in and love being around the people that we work with, that makes going to work easier. So just continuing to talk to our guys about how important that is. And then the back is we just want to compete every game, game in and game out. We want to improve. We want to get better. Do you go to a player and push that? Does kind of reveal itself as the season goes on to again help set the in that locker room. Of course, I'm always going to players. Uh, our coaching staff is tapping in with players. Our uh, front office, we're always checking in, text messages, calls, meetings. Uh, it's how you drive a culture to be the best, or if you want to be. It's a part. Uh, including the players, and, and they've done it far of just no matter what the, the out, out, outcome is, they come in the next day, and I love that about our group. Thank you, Coach. Thank you. Recording stuff.